Hey guys, it's Vaughn. Today I'm going to show you guys how I wash my hair. My tactics are simple and the products I use are interchangeable. I always use a good moisturizer and oil. A moisturizing shampoo and conditioner that detangles. My favorite tools at the moment are petal brushes and butterfly clips. For me, one of the most important parts about washing my hair is getting the hair as saturated with water as possible. I also like to finger comb during this process to get rid of some tangles. For my hair texture, it's always more manageable when it's soaking wet. I usually take about 5 to 10 minutes just wetting the hair before I add any product. moisturizing shampoo. When applying the shampoo, I usually focus at the roots because that's where all the product buildup is. Even though sometimes it feels good, I do avoid scratching my scalp with my nails. Your shampoo will be just as effective at removing impurities just by massaging your scalp with your fingertips. I really focus any shampoo on the ends of my hair is doing the rinsing process. I spent about 5 to 10 minutes rinsing all the shampoo out. There wasn't really much product buildup, so I only shampooed once. My hair is already 50% detangled, that's why I love this shampoo. semi-wet. Now I'm going to apply my Twisted Sista Deep Frizz Conditioner. At first I like to apply a generous amount to my whole head. To keep the hair from drying too quickly or getting really detangled, I usually section it in two halves and work at it one at a time. When it's time to detangle, I break it down into even smaller sections. washing routine from beginning to end. It helps me to get rid of my shed hair so that I can detangle a lot easier. I'll be detangling with my Revlon paddle brush. Starting from the ends of the hair and slowly delicately working my way up. The hair is only completely detangled if you can work your hair tool from the root to the tip with ease. Now I'm going to show you guys my hold your hair method. My hair is extremely curly, and if I don't hold my hair while detangling, then this will happen. This is not good because it promotes tangling. It's a good idea to hold the hair in a stretched position while you're detangling it, so that it can stay detangled while you twist it. I found that the longer my natural hair gets, the more effort I have to put into this detangling process. the conditioner is completely rinsed out. Now I can go ahead and add my product. I'm using Eaton Body Works All Natural Hair Milk as my moisturizer. I'm going to section my hair into medium sized twists. Here I'm using Eaton Body Works All Natural Hair Oil to seal my ends.
Now that I'm all done, it's time to grab my bobby pins and style my twists. The pinup that I'm doing is the one that I wore to the Notre Dame Fashion Show. The idea here is to pin all of your twists to the front of your head, evenly. To conceal your bobby pins, try to insert them as close to your scalp as possible. Try to pin your twist to one side. As for the twists hanging in the front, try to loop them backwards to conceal any loose ends. There you have it ladies, a quick, classic, protective style. I usually opt for this style if I must wash my hair on the go and I don't have time to wait for a twist out to dry. I would say this style can work on long or short hair. And here's the finished look as I headed out for lunch with Anthony. Oh my god, we love cheap diner food. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!